Ciao, pandas! Let's play a game! How do you study Spanish? You read books? Si! Do you watch series in Spanish with subtitles? Si! Do you play Duolingo? Si! Do you take online classes with a Spanish teacher? Si! Do you listen to podcasts while doing daily stuff? Si! Well, then let me tell you that you are doing it wrong! Not because I say so, but because science says so. You see, if you want to look like Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, you have to work your muscles. Biceps, shoulders, abs, legs. Now, could you tell me how many muscles you have to work on if you want to improve your Spanish? Listening, speaking, uh, two, three, seven. What? Seven! Science has proven that there are seven areas that you must work on if you want to improve a language. That's listening, reading, writing, speaking, fluency, pronunciation and vocabulary. And guess what? You have to work on all of them if you want to improve your Spanish. You see, if you only work your biceps and ignore the rest of your body, you will look like what we call in Spanish a croissant guy and therefore you will have a deformed body. So, if you only work your listening or speaking skills, you will have a deformed Spanish. So, you have to make sure that you work all seven parts of the language if you want to achieve fluency. Let's review the way you have been learning Spanish. Reading books, reading and vocabulary. <laughs> Watching shows in Spanish with subtitles, reading pronunciation and just a little bit of listening. Come on, be honest. When you watch La Casa de Papel with subtitles, you're mostly reading, you're not listening. <coughs> Playing Duolingo, uh, nothing. <coughs> Taking classes with a Spanish teacher, grammar, which is not even really a part of the language. Grammar is something you can learn, but you cannot improve. <coughs> listening to a podcast on your commute, listening. You see how this works? This is why you feel stuck with your Spanish. This is why you forget most of the Spanish that you learn. This is why you freeze when you try to speak Spanish with someone. I want you to list everything you have been doing for your Spanish lately. And then think about how you can practice the parts that you haven't been practicing. So that way you make sure that you're working the seven parts of Spanish. If you do that, I promise you will see results in no time. Hasta mañana!